What's up guys, today we're gonna to do an Outfits Ideas video and this time it's going to be around this iconic Speedy bag. Mine is in the Speedy B size 25, it's the bandolier version. Mine is also in Mon Monogram and I've spoken about this before in my last one of my last videos which was the top five everyday handbags video. Um, if you're thinking about doing the Mon Monogram, I would absolutely recommend it. I think it really does a nice job kind of breaking up the monogram and making it a little bit more interesting and adding a little bit of color. So we're going to style a few outfits around this bag. Now I'm sure we're all getting our cost per wear down on this bag because so many of us have it and have had it for so many, so many years. And maybe it was your first Louis Vuitton bag or something like that. But I'm sure many of us have also forgotten about it and it's somewhere deep in our closets. And we've kind of taken this thing for granted because it's such a good bag. It's such a great everyday bag. It's a grab and go, um, especially in the 25 size for me, especially. But actually, Super Jacob did a really interesting video on whether or not the Speedy was a quiet luxury bag, even though it's full of monogram. Now, the whole talk about quiet luxury versus logo mania um, is sort of a hot topic right now, which I think is very interesting. And I know the whole Gwyneth Paltrow trial kind of helped ignite that conversation again around her outfits and how chic they were and there was no branding and there was you know none of that but and i completely agree she looked beautiful in all of those um looks but let's not also forget she was also wearing um a completely gucci outfit when she was cooking frittatas in her kitchen so and i personally don't think any of us are really cooking in a completely head-to-toe Gucci monogram look, um, cooking frittatas or anything else like that in our kitchen. So I think there's a time and a place. And I think just because she was wearing non logo things called quiet luxury on in trial, that makes sense. Like, I don't think anyone in their right mind is walking in there with, you know, looking like a logo ho. So there's a time and a place and anyway going back to what i was saying before is super jacob had an interesting video on whether or not this was considered a quiet luxury piece and i completely understood everything he was trying to say it was kind of like this is so iconic does anyone really look at it and be like oh my god look at all those logos like because this has been around this this bag in particular has been around for decades and decades and decades the logos are there but it's kind of like you've seen it so much it's so common it's been iconic and been around for so long that is it really that loud and obnoxious anymore and i completely understood what he was saying so i thought that was really interesting of a conversation but i think we should also remember that this bag because so many of us have it we've kind of like we've kind of forgotten about it because there's so many other bags that might be newer or more interesting or you know fresher so i thought let's dust off our you know speedy bees or classic iconic speedy bags and let's style this up this time last time i styled down the chanel um classic flat because i really do think it's important to get our cost per wear down and use our bags in a more casual way, especially because I think the Chanel bag tends to be looked at as a more formal bag. And so that's what I was trying to do in that video. So I'll link that above if you haven't seen that. This time we're going to be doing the opposite and I'm trying to kind of elevate the speedy bag because um, I think it's just so, it's a bag that I think we all take for granted. So let's take those out and have a little fun with it again. And so that's what this video is about. So if you're interested in that, check out some of my outfits that are coming up and let's get started. Okay, so for the first look, I am doing something that it's more like going out to brunch, going out to lunch type of look. Like I said, a lot of these 
looks are going to be casual, but a little bit elevated. So they're not gonna be like sneakers or anything like that, but you can choose your shoes and switch things out as you wish um, based on your own lifestyle. So this first look, I've done a gingham blouse and it has these cute little ruffles. And I just think that gingham is such a great springtime fresh look, but I'm not really into the pink ginghams or the blue ginghams. So I thought sort of doing a black gingham is with a little bit of ruffling. is feminine enough for me that it makes a little bit fun and fresh and spring-like. And I paired it with this fun belt, which is a lion head belt in gold against um, black skinny jeans. And whoever says skinny jeans are out can kiss my bottom because skinny jeans will always forever be in. Jeans are something that is something so personal based on your own body shape and what works for you. And if a particular cut of jeans looks good on your particular body type and body shape, and that's what you feel comfortable in, then that's absolutely what you should wear, despite what the trends are telling you. And so skinny jeans is just something that I feel like will show off my shape because I have no curves. So anyway, the top is from H&M and the belt is also from H&M, so it's very affordable. And the jeans are from Zara. I have had all three of these pieces for quite a long time. Um, probably the top and the, the jean and the belt I've had for at least three years, uh, the jeans even longer. And I'm wearing these with heels because I feel like it will just make my legs look a lot longer and everyone needs a little bit of help with that, especially if you're 5'2". And I paired it with, again, obviously the Speed EB. And I think this goes really well together because I'm not like a matchy-matchy person where if I'm wearing a brown bag that I have to wear a brown or tan or beige outfit, I really like the bag to pop and stand out. So that's why I feel like this is a really cute outfit together. And maybe not something that you might think of with gingham and monogram, but I think this is adorable and you could obviously wear it by the hand. You could wear it on your shoulder. And you can wear it crossbody. This belt actually has a ring on it. It's kind of like a door knocker and it does move back and forth but it made so much noise that it would clink every time I moved or walked that I just crazy glued it down so that I don't have to hear that. <laughs> Okay, so this next outfit might not be your cup of tea um, because you might not be into acid wash jeans and loud florals and that sort of thing and gold shoes. Um, so I will get into the outfit, but um, the whole point of this video is to elevate the speedy bag because it, I think the speedy bag can look really tired um, really easily because there is a slouch um, because the patina on some bags can be really dark and dirty looking and worn. And so when you, when you have a, an iconic bag like that, but it looks really tired, I think your outfit has to do a little bit more work to wake this bag up and make it look uh, a little bit less common and be like, oh, that bag looks really good with that outfit. Like, I want that bag. So that's why I think this video is kind of fun to do. But as I said, this um, outfit is a floral top and it's a blouse by Zara. I've had this for probably seven or eight years, a really long time before Zara went crazy on like runway trends um, is when I bought this. And these acid wash jeans are actually um, pretty recent from Banana Republic. And I've always wanted to 
by Acid Wash Jeans. I just needed to find the right wash and I feel like this is subtle enough but still very clearly acid wash, which I love. And I paired it with I paired it with these Gucci loafers. These are gold foiled uh, loafers. They are so cute. These are probably my favorite shoes. I wear these a lot because they are super comfortable. If you've got, I don't have like super wide feet, but they're not like narrow. So I guess they're a little bit wider than regular. And if you do have kind of wideish feet, then these are super um, comfortable for you because they just accommodate the width of your foot. And the black heel is just high enough to give you some height, but it doesn't um, kill your feet at all. So this is a great one. And I feel like gold is a neutral, at least for me, because it goes, um, I think it complements this blouse very well. And I would pair it with this white leather jacket. I got this uh, leather jacket from All Saints a few years ago on sale, probably maybe 2019-ish. I feel like this leather jacket really finishes the outfit really well especially on a chillier kind of spring day. And I really love this outfit. So for all of these outfits, even though they're quite casual, but just a bit elevated in my opinion, these are great just like, going out to brunch, going to lunch with your friends or your partner, whatever, and but not looking sloppy and really just waking up this bag, not making it look so tired and making it look a little bit more fresh and um, having the outfit kind of elevate this bag a bit because it is so common. You do see it around a lot. And I think people get a little bored with um, the speedy bag, but an outfit can always spice things up in my opinion. So, and the next outfit is gonna be an all white outfit. And I love this because it's so fresh for the spring or summer and it just makes everything pop. Whatever your accessory is, it just pops. So for this, I'm wearing a white blouse with double pockets and um, skinny white jeans. And I'm wearing it with my Louis Vuitton Delphine belt, which I love. This is also reversible. It's a monogram on the other side. I rarely wear the monogram side. I just love this caramel brown color um, because it just makes it look, I don't know, a little bit, a lot more refined. And I'm pairing it with obviously my speedy bag. And this alone kind of makes the look. I just feel like white is such a fresh, um, such a fresh outfit. And I feel like it's it really elevates any outfit if it's done well. I never spend too much money on white clothing because I simply can't be trusted. Um, what you'll notice in this video is I'm wearing a lot of blouses. I feel like blouses are such a great way to um, make an outfit look casual or make it look a little bit more elevated. And so blouses for me is like my secret weapon in being able to do both. And I love that. But going back to white, uh, I can't be trusted with wearing white, so I never spend too much money on white. So this is a Zara shirt. I have two of these that I rotate through. Um, I'm wearing it with white skinny jeans, which is from H&M. And I'm also wearing um, these Zara brown heels, and they're a very low heel. I think these are really cute because it's super neutral. Um, it's just a slip on, which is great. And the heel is quite low, so it's very wearable for me. This look would be great on its own, but if you wanted to just add another layer, it looks like a blazer, but it's kind of like a jacket feel. So it's great for springtime and layering. And um, I got this from Anthropology on Super Sale. It's not like a blazer because it's doesn't give off that stuff, super stuffy look. Um, it's just a very casual blazer jacket. I guess all ja I guess all blazers are jackets of some kind. So this is a great blazer jacket. 
uh, to layer on top. So you could do this. And this is great if you're going to like a lunch meeting or if you're just going out shopping and you just want something a little bit warm. And a speedy bag over the shoulder. Or crossbody. So this next outfit is for some of those more warmer spring days that we get where you can break out with the shorts and you know show a little bit more skin. This is like the first time I've worn shorts in the entire season so far. So excuse my ashy, dry, disgusting legs and feet, but this is kind of how I would style it. Um, it's a really cute a long sleeve blouse um, that has some eyelet detail and a poofy sleeve with nipped in cuffs, which I love and then some very casual shorts, but I feel like the blouse kind of elevates the casualness of the shorts. And then with um, a pair of just strappy wedges. These wedges are from H&M, these shorts are from H&M, and this blouse uh, with the eyelet detail is from Anthropology and from the sales section. I only shop Anthropology on the sales section because it's the most affordable. I find, I love anthropology clothing, but I do find that it's just way overpriced and I know that I can always get it on discount because what they do is they put it on sale and then they put another discount on top of the discount. So I love that. And that's how I shop at anthropology. But this is um, what I got this past season. And I just feel like um, it's, even though it's long sleeve and poofy, um, all the eyelet details really, quite breathable. So I love that. And then you pair it with the Speedy, which I feel like still looks great. And you can wear it over your shoulder. And it's just casual, but still elevated, if that makes any sense. And I just love the pop of color with the Mon monogram. Anyway, let me know what was your favorite outfit in this video. And if you have a speedy bag, is it buried in the back of your closet? And do you have to like dust it off again? And are you kind of tired of the speedy? Because I know it's such a common bag for a lot of people and a lot of people are kind of over it, but it is iconic and it can look very tired looking, um, especially if it's kind of like really old and dark patina and saggy and whatever. But like you can just get like a bag organizer or a bag shaper and get it looking a little bit more alive again, you know, wake it up and, you know, you can wake up any bag with an outfit. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And let me know again, what's your favorite outfit? And once again, back to uh, Super Jacob's video, is the iconic speedy bag, is it loud or is it quiet? So that's an interesting question. Go check out his video if you haven't seen it. I will link it below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, then maybe go binge watch some of my other videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.